All right. No more practice. It's run time. Hey, I'm not. Thank you for the good luck. How are you doing today? to Rome last week. How was that? Hope you had fun. Come on. Fine food, lots of places of interest. Nice. I have not been to Italy since I was about 16 years old. Smells fine. Oh, no, I take that back. Well, I haven't been to like the cities of Italy since I was like 16 or 17 years old. I've been skiing in Italy more recently than that. Sure. Hey, is Joel up? He got reports he's infected out north. We had sent him and Tommy out early to scout. That sucks. Yeah. Learn a word. Hey, Ripper. All right. Would you like something academic, useful, um, obscure? Obscure. All right. Um,
How about this? Emacity. I'm, I'm assuming you've never run across that word. That is a desire to buy things, right? So, you know, when, when you are struck with emacity, you're off to the mall. <laughs> Or you you head on to Amazon.com in order to uh, yes use a teenager. <laughs> yes. Heads up. Not to be Talk confused with morning. emaciation, <laughs> right? It has nothing to do with being thin. Let me see if I got this right. You when you get paid. <laughs> yeah. me. Which triggered Seth to call you a not so nice word. Yep. I mean, getting paid is a good time to buy things, right? It was a strange night, man. Sounds exciting. Like, then come to your senses. Hmm, the desire not to buy things. I mean, I'm not sure that there's a specific word for it, but you know, that's related to concepts like aestheticism, right? Which is just doing, if you, um, if you're not to be, okay, so if you're aesthetic, not to be confused with aesthetic, right? Aesthetic is pertaining to beauty. Aesthetic is self-denying, right? Not having a lot of, you know, luxuries of anything. Then you see the price of things. Yeah, that could definitely just that could definitely do it. Ellie, we're cool. Promise. Thanks. All right, let's go say hi to Buckley. <laughs> hey, old timer. Yeah, get a good scratch. But it was fifty dollars. Damn. Grab some For seven samurai. No. I mean, it's a great movie. In the back. But fifty bucks. Damn. Excuse me. That would definitely count as immacity, though. I know, you can't. How dare they? I mean, on this run in particular, not to pet any dog you can pet, it would be a, a fail for the run. If you go up to the Northwest Lookout, they're scheduled to arrive later today. Watch yourself. There's too many sightings of infected recently. Of course. I was going to check out the creek trails. I'll need someone else to cover it. Ellie, you know the creek trails? Not really. Dina's done it a bunch. I'll have the two of them take it. Well, that solves that. Ellie, can I talk to you for a sec? So, look, I don't know what's going on with you and Joel. <sighs> Maria, the guy really cares about you. And I'm sure he didn't mean to. We're fine. Yeah? Yeah. Speed run to okay. pet all doggos. <laughs> okay. Sorry to pry. I mean... That would take you until Thanks. Abbey Day 2, Yo, Dina, right? Assignment. No, Alice, Just give me a minute. Uh, start of Abbey Day 3 is the last you get your girlfriend. The last time you pet a dog, right? Gotcha. We're on the floor. Ow! Damn. Oh, Arm on that kid. Yeah. Mm. Oh. I mean, for, eat that. Don't tell your mom. Oh, I'm for you. Where are you going, girl? Oh, you like that? Stay here and be bullied. Oh, suck it! <laughs> Eat snow, you In your shit. face! Oh. Eat snow! Ah. Yeah, you better run! You better run! Ah. All right. No care. Eat it, shrimps! Hey! hey. How's it feel? 
Get a pet with a melee stick. <laughs> I suppose one. I suppose that's one way of thinking about it. Actually, have some work to do. Scram. I mean, that's the goal here, right? I guess I asked for that, huh? Is to yep. fuck up these little shrimps. Let's go. This is a run, Gwen. So Jesse wants us to do the creek trails. He's gonna relieve Joel. I'm and Tommy. not letting my last that's death get in my way. Morning. As discouraging as that Thank death you. was, we're right back on it. That's a good girl. Look who's here. Come on, this way. Hey, no worries, Queen. Yeah, sometimes some of the different things, some of the different sure apps, you don't want to do this when the sun's out? are and it's warmer. further behind <laughs> Can't wait. than others. You like, don't want to just tell me? it feels like desktop has the lowest latency of all the different ways to watch the stream. What are you doing, wandering around out here by yourself? Been rest. You too. I feel like the farther south we go, the prettier it's gotten. You want to keep going? You just drive all the way to Mexico? I've thought about it. You can see Manny's hometown. Yeah, I don't see that living up to his stories. 30 yeah. seconds. Damn, that's a long delay. We keep going like this. We're going to be tired for today's trip. Yes. Is Mel okay? Come on. She seemed out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. You stop being weird, you're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. What is that? You'll be fine. It's too high. Come on. Shit. Hey, eyes on me. Abby, stop looking down. When we have to go back this way? Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. How about I work my foot up your ass? Abby, stop flirting. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'll make the whole thing on my own. Oh, 
Fuck, I knew I was going to get stuck on that tree. Fuck me! Okay, terrible dodging. Let's heal. Somehow she didn't see me, okay. That's fine. I bet she saw that. Please let that be it. Horse tracks. 
Where's the patrol? Whoop. Not a cutscene. Presumably, yes. Right? Because she's making her way to the lodge where Joel and Tommy are. Alright. Come on. This way. Right behind you. Do you miss being with him? With Jesse? <laughs> no. We've been together for so long. Look, Jesse's great. I love his parents. It's definitely they not Ellie and Dina, family, right? But we were just because this is before the storm. The storm hits we never talked about this when they're in the supermarket is when feel... it really starts coming down hard. You never really talked to me about Kat. So, Toll and Jommy. Joel and Tommy really like seem like the best bet. I don't care about her one way or the other. <laughs> Okay. No, I think she's a talented artist. I've grown to like that tattoo of yours. Well, that's so big of you. And I think she wasn't right for you. Interesting. Shut up. Okay. You can tie Shimmer up here. <laughs> hey. You want to see something spectacular? You're going to point at your face, aren't you? <laughs> Nothing is that spectacular. Oh, brother. Come on, stupid. Yeah. I mean, they definitely cross later on, right? Like... Ellie Thank just missing you, Abby huh? at the hospital is the big one. It's pretty nice. But, um, yeah, this route has its perks. But yeah, I don't think there's any way it can be Ellie and Dina's horses. to do this route with Jesse Eugene right ah oh, Eugene oh, man he was funny oh yeah <laughs> plus he taught me about rewiring electronics and stuff yeah that would have been I mean oh, you can see the sky bridge three. on day oh, two at a time about when Lev and Abby are probably crossing, right? But obviously, you can't see them on the bridge. That would have been cool. Sign us in. Up ahead's our last stop. Take a look. There's the town with the big tower. I thing. mean, even yeah. if you unfortunately, yeah. even if you have the scope on the rifle, you can't see it anything except a static sky bridge. All right. Question It would be crazy. Come on, edit. Yeah, They're good. clean. It's patrol, you know. They're here to kill infected, not to look. Fancy. I love the way Dina says no judgment there because you know she's absolutely judging. Come on. 
I think we should go out like Eugene. From a stroke? No, oh, from old age, like living a long life. You? No way, come on, you're way too reckless. <gasps> Look who's talking. You know, You'll probably God damn die it. from hypothermia from wearing canvas sneakers in the snow. I am wearing boots today. Check these houses out. Seems quiet, but we can if you want. I think we'll have to buy. What do you know about this place? Yeah, that's Better. that's true, Chaos. Infected almost never make it out this far. We usually catch them on the outer perimeter. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Uh, I mean, there are definitely some holy shit moments when you realize, oh. like, the yes. you know, the significance yes. of this incidental dialogue that you're listening to as you're sneaking around as Ellie and, you know, listening to the wolves talk and all of a sudden you're like, uh, oh, now I get it. That's the one that's been on my but, radar yeah. for a while. If they added more of that, it'd be cool. When we used to watch these cheesy 80s action movies. He's really into them. Oh, no. I actually really like them, too. Fuck. The temperature dropped. Yeah. Easy going. Think it would take to bring down a moose. <laughs> More than one. Yeah. Where the hell are they? Let's go find them. You may have killed the one on our left. Nice, Dina. Thank you. No drops. Looks like it. Sadness. We still got to get the ones in the supermarket. Let's keep circling the building. There's gotta be a way in. Ellie, help me up there. I wanna look around. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Where she's just uh, look, see? looking around. All right, let's figure out how to get in there. 
Yeah, oh, she's just looking up. This way. I'm in. Nope. Hey, got some alcohol. A couple of rags. Here, fix yourself up. in there. Masks on. Got it. Remember, I don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Oh, that's so sweet. All these spores mean they've been here for a while. Your socks all have holes in them? Uh, I hate it when that happens. Gotta buy more socks. Let's say hello to the good boy here. Employee of the month. Let's get to the ground floor. Motherfuckers make my skin crawl. Let's make sure the rest of the building's cleared out. And then get the fuck out of here. Dina, will help. Coming.
I definitely would not last very long in this apocalypse. Or probably any apocalypse. I waited. I didn't kill that runner right away because after I grabbed him, the clicker started barking. And if I had stabbed the runner, that would have alerted that clicker. Something different on the remaster. And grounded, yeah. I mean, they're much more sensitive. You know, the, the sensitive hearing is definitely a grounded thing. Oh, yeah. The two thing, that's definitely grounded. Sorry, I, I missed the first part of that chat. Yeah, you gotta do two on grounded. If they're too close, yes, they can hear. And again, ungrounded, their hearing is more sensitive. So you have to be a little more careful. But on the original game, it was totally safe just to grab that second runner and, and immediately stab him as fast as you could. But now, if you do it while the clicker is barking, it will alert. It'll hear it. What I always say about Grounded Chaos is you can absolutely do it. Grounded, Getting through Grounded is not so much about having like incredible gaming skills so much as understanding what the enemies are doing and just having a strategy to get through the areas. Right? And being prepared to die a bunch while you learn what those strategies are. Fully expect over 100. Hey, if it helps, my first playthrough, I had 315 deaths on Grounded. Of course, I didn't have like tutorial videos or anything, but I did watch other people play Grounded before I had tried it. Okay. Cable here. You haven't even finished your first go on normal. Fair enough, right? You should definitely do a complete playthrough on, uh, you know, some lower Get setting over. before you try yeah. grounded. Okay, that's good. Here I go. You watch people play Tilu more than you play. I mean. Uh, that's true for a lot. Look, a lot of people, like the regulars in all the T, you'll see the same people in like all the different T Lu streamers streams. There's a lot of people who do watch people play this game a lot, and I have to admit, I'm one of them. You know, if I'm not streaming, I do, I am spending a good chunk of my time hanging out in other people's Twitch chats who are playing it. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes oh, yeah. stuff like that happens. You get sidetracked. You prefer watching because yeah, you can multitask. Wait. That's fair. Okay. There is definitely something about playing this game yourself, especially on a first playthrough. Um, that where, like, having... Being at the controls absolutely makes the emotional impact of the game, which is pretty strong anyway, but if you're actually at the controls, it makes the impact stronger, I think, because, you know, 
you have to m make these characters do things that you don't want them to do. At least, you don't want them to do if you are a psychologically healthy person. Ellie! Oh, thank God. Come on. This way. Where are we going? Just trust me. Get inside. been here? Road by it. Never came inside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right here. I mean, there's something about particularly near, how far are you actually how far have you actually played Chaos? Huh. Like I found the worst part of it to be really uh, some of the late game Definitely stuff. Eugene's place. It was a worst fight. in terms of, like, it's you're at the time. controls and yelling, "Don't do it! Don't do it!" I had no idea. And you have yeah. to do it. <laughs> they got into some real dark shit. Like what? He said he blew up a checkpoint at Denver QZ, killed three soldiers, and two civilians. Jesus. Just got okay. So you're at Santa Barbara, yeah. He also told me that like that cutscene at the farm when Ellie's leaving Dina I, I don't buy Tommy is that was one where I was definitely worse. my first playthrough. I was like shouting at the screen, Ellie, don't do it. And then definitely both boss fights between Ellie, both fights between. Ellie and Abby, I was like, Eugene. I don't want to do this. I bet you could mod your gun with this gear. Oh, hello. Yeah, exactly, oh, Chaos. Look at the exactly. floor. There's more stuff down there. You see a way down? here Come on What's he got down here? Well, it's obviously a sex den. That's why he didn't tell you about it. I hope it's a sex den for his sake. He was so lonely, man. It's probably just like a giant TV he didn't want to share. Oh my god. It's weed. That's a lot of dead weed. Hey, yeah, definitely the cutscenes. I mean, they're just so well acted. Oh. You know? Push him to ruin, yeah. That's a good way to put it. Story isn't full depression decline. That's true. 
Abby's story arc heads, despite all the shitty things that happened to the people around her and her, her story arc is ultimately heading on a path of redemption, right? Whereas Ellie's is definitely downhill until the very end. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you mean, Chris. Alright, we gotta wait for the first four so that we get the fifth one here. chaos and Ellie in particular of course we get to see her innocence not just in the flashbacks but in uh, all of part one okay that's number five boop Gotta be careful about my bullet usage, and so I need to save these mostly for the clicker. how she fucking magnetized on Tommy there. I set her down. Did you see that? That was such bullshit. Where's the clicker? All these other runners are at infinite spawn, so I don't give a shit about them. It's just the clicker. Go. Hey, through the window. Let's go. I got you. Get close to us. Where are we going? It's this one. Come on. Everywhere. Go slow down. Head for those doors. Through here. Let's go. All right. Jackson done at least.
Yeah, I mean that that scene Tommy! is uh, after. Yeah, he's exactly. I mean that scene obviously breaks Joel. You know, okay. and. You know, he, he, on a personal level, he definitely, he recovers by Joel? letting Tommy? Ellie into his, you know, his heart, so to speak. But I, I stress on a personal level because, you know, he winds up, like, him saving her is very much, I see it as very much a selfish action on his part. You know, like, he's doing it because he personally can't bear... <laughs> To lose another daughter, right? Whatever her wishes, whatever, you know, would be best for humanity, he personally can't deal with the trauma, right? I couldn't get to the horses. Looks like Tommy took one. Now Maria's got the stables locked down. <sighs> Fucking Tommy. We'll figure something else out on the way. A car or a horse or something. Okay. This makes getting to Seattle a lot harder. Then it's gonna be harder. You can still change your mind, you know? I know. I just don't want you to feel like you have to. Ellie, you go, I go, end of story. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, when people try to argue that Joel did the right thing, um, you know, my response is, I mean, depends on your you know your ethical system but joel doesn't think he did the right thing at some level like even though at the end of this game he stands by it right if he actually believed in his heart of hearts that what he did was was right in a kind of larger sense he wouldn't have gaslighted ellie about it for two years hey kato did I listen to Hank Williams music? <laughs> no, I did not listen. I never listened to country music growing up. Hey. And Hank Williams, oh, like as okay. as Joel said, Hank Williams is even a little before oh, my time. <laughs> okay. Like, Hank Williams was uh, okay. an old established singer as I was growing up. So. Like, I knew the name, but I never Thanks. listened to country music. Shawshank Redemption. Huh. Everything okay? I mean, yeah. of course you've heard one in oh, The Last yeah. of Us, right? Since Alone and Forsaken is a Hank Williams song. So how lost are we? Uh, we're not. Uh-huh. Hey, have a little faith. What about those crazy cannibals you said you and Joel ran into? They came after you guys once. Maybe these WLFs are connected to them. No. It didn't seem like the same group. 
Maybe those black market smugglers back in Boston? Do you not? Joel crossed a lot of people. I don't see the point in guessing. Okay. At least until we find out more information. What kind of music do I like? Well, you're listening to this playlist is kind of representative. I like I like lots of music, but this playlist is sort of representative of the more you know recent pop folkish, you know, like kind of stuff that I listen to, but I listen to pretty much everything. Like I can find stuff that, it's not that I love every genre, but there's there's stuff that I can find in most genres that I enjoy. If you go into my Discord, Kato, um, I have a music channel and I have pinned this playlist along with a bunch of others. Um, it's... Um, I actually do like Taylor Swift, but I'm not a Swifty. Here we go. Uh, Guess I was but, wrong. But... Um, Turns out you do know where you're going. But anyway... Um, but yeah, so this this particular playlist is called A Whole Mood, and it's sort of a bunch of eclectic stuff that I just like. EDM all the way for you. Yeah. I mean, I don't I mind a certain amount of EDM. I I, I get tired of it after a while, me. but like, you know, in in small doses, this EDM is cool. Joel and Ellie playlist. Yep. Nice. Watch the high spots. Just a little bit faster by bringing Shimmer that far. Yeah. Just, I'm gonna, I gotta get off to collect the parts, but. Dina, help me up here. Okay. Yeah, the, they'll be on the other side. Basically, it, you know, if you open like one of the drawers in one of the buildings over here you'll pick up the first you'll pick up the map right um if you side. don't pick up anything then you'll see both the map and the codes in um the first two drawers that you open first the map in the first drawer and then the codes in the second drawer that you open on the other side <laughs> Yeah, so you can't ignore them both because you can't open they don't let even if you know the the gate code um ellie won't input it until you have the code list it, especially because that particular note would telling you about the garage and the the dome and the courthouse garage uh, is a is a big plot point they force you to pick it up before you can progress and the map too, right? They're both essential to the plot. So. Somebody was telling me that they jumped over here and they actually, for some reason, 
this is in the remaster that the the map or the they didn't spawn in um which would soft lock you but see here's the map first drawer we open now whatever the second drawer we open is like if i opened that drawer right there we would get the codes there but we can also get them in oh, the uh building with the you know the gate code Um, so the map is, so when you're downtown, Ellie will try to write on the map. And, um, Ellie will try to write on the map and basically nothing spawned. Damn. At least Ant at least plays well actually here it wouldn't matter it wouldn't make a difference i was gonna say ant plays grounded glitchless so he doesn't have perma on but sometimes you can get yourself like, with perma it's worse <laughs> right but anyway we should have the codes here in this see they're right here okay i wonder when this was written Yes. Um, so anyway, uh, Ellie is going, as we go through downtown, Ellie is going to try to pull out the map and scribble on it as we go through all these places. Um, you can, if you time it right, cancel those map animations. And that's what I try to do just because it's irritating to have to, you know, wait for her to do that map scribbling. Um, but, you know, and so you can cancel them usually. <laughs> I usually, I typically will fail a certain number of them, and the more I fail, the more irritated I get about it. Now what? I found a note back there. Had some codes on it. It says there's a WLF safe house at some place called Saravina Base. Saravina. So we find it? Hopefully we find our first WLF. Oh shit, look. Saravina Hotel. That's gotta be it. Okay. Let's find a way past this, uh... Okay, here we go. <laughs> I mean, I I was more sad than angry, Jack. Yeah, I mean, there there are times when I rage, but usually, usually I rage when. So what's the plan for finding these places? It's like, I I don't usually rage with this game, but like if I'm playing a game and I am sort of stuck in a death loop or something like that, that will probably caused me to get kind of salty right here oh nice um but yeah it hurt that one that hurt and and it hurts you know because it's so late in the game and because i'm like i'm already thinking about santa barbara and you know because the island i should normally get through the island right so at, but the real thing that i'm more just sad about with that is you know ultimately 
rebels. I got alerted there because of my imprecise movement, right? So, you know, like, I alerted the brute because I was a little too hasty coming around the, the corner, and she saw it, and then everything else was kind of a, a consequence of that, you know? And so, what can I say? You know, like, I just have to... I just have to be sad about that. No death loops if there's permadeath. That's a fair point. E easy jump. Fair Don't point, worry. Tuffy. Worrying's in my blood, so. Man, check this out. This thing's a relic. Here we go. As feedback. Yeah, like I definitely try to make all of my deaths a learning situation for on this challenge like so what did i do after yeah. i died i immediately went and i just I so. practiced that area of farmlands a bunch of times why ellie why are we climbing up i was not actually climbing up right and then this morning before we started um or afternoon Got i guess it. technically before i started this run I went and tested out a bunch of stuff in the other area that messed up for me on the last... I survived it, but, um, you know, flooded streets where Jesse alerted on me. We spent a bunch of time testing that. And that's just sort of how I deal with permadeath in this game, right? Is, is I try to approach it very analytically and figure out, you know, what happened, how can I fix it? That kind of stuff. If you die, it's a learning moment. Yes. So we were talking earlier about ignoring the map. The reason why I did that little knife movement there was to try to stop Ellie from writing on the map. Four hour speed run is crazy. For this game, yeah, it is. It looks that way. It is. Even four and a half hours, which is more like the permadeath speedrun time. Um, hey, you were talking I think I found the courthouse. How can you tell? I got my first um, completion on PS4, Kato. Um... <laughs> So, I can tell you how many hours I have in the game, but I couldn't tell... Yeah, Ant's Grounded Glitch List is like 418, but right. Ant doesn't have the record for ah. permadeath, for Grounded Permadeath, Shit. right? Believe me. I, as far as I know, Skiz, nobody has. I, I was asking Shadow Days if he was going to do that, and he said he was thinking about it, but... He would probably be the most likely to to yeah. try it. Good point. I gotta say, I was expecting the Seattle QZ to be a lot more occupied. But Shadow yeah. hasn't done any kill all, so I mean, I'm assuming if he tried it, he would definitely go for a, a fast time. Shit. Watch out. Watch it. Here's another place where. I'm, that little melee there is designed to get, get these places. Ellie oh, to no. stop uh, from writing on the map. Basically, anytime downtown, if you see me, Ellie suddenly start flailing around, it's for me to avoid a map skip. Like that. Thank you. Kill all is more interesting to you than just skipping everything. I mean, I'm kind of of two minds about it like yes it is an interesting challenge to me obviously i wouldn't do it otherwise but um uh, you know there's something to be said i i'm not a big fan of i mean it like what it, don't get me wrong what ant does is super impressive in the speed run stuff but i much prefer permadeath speed runs because it, it somehow it feels like a more sort of honest way to play the game when you're not like abusing the restart encounter mechanics like if you don't get in granted glitchless if you don't get a 
the right RNG, you can restart the encounter and, you know, get it and reset everything in just like a predictable way, right? With grounded permadeath speedruns, you can't do that, right? You just have to play the game as it gives it to you, however that might be, right? And, and to me, that feels more honest, right? Not that, not that I, I have anything against the sort of, you know, the, the absolute lowest time speedruns. It just, it's the way I like to play the game. Let's put it that way. Yeah, you thought I just liked Ellie, making Ellie flail. Yeah, no, the jumping and flailing in various places, like here is, this is another one where Ellie will try to write on the map as we go in here. Well, we've been like this for years. It's not going to collapse today, I think. Not a fan. Anti using markers on maps, yes. Enjoy your dinner, Skiz. Thanks for the good luck. No wonder your data usage has gone up. <laughs> wow, well, I appreciate it, Jack. I really love those chaos streams. They are a lot of fun. I mean, Not sure. there's some that Are you we? can like, you, uh, you know the. Looks like a bank. Ooh, fancy schmancy. It would be kind of cool if they if they did more of that sort of stuff. I mean, obviously, no return mods have a little bit of affinity to to some of the chaos stuff, but the fact that chat can vote on them and apply I them, really don't know the you know, in the middle of things, is what makes chaos so special. Um, so, 
I, I talked about regulars will have heard my theory. So here's my basic conception for part three. Um, and this, you know, so this starts from the assumption that the, 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 the bones of the Tilu universe, sort of the, the kind of meta concept that makes Tilu Tilu is to make your main character suffer, right? So this is what I would expect in a part three. And I always start from the idea that if you think about the nature of Ellie's condition, right? She talks about herself being immune, but if we want to be really precise about it, Ellie was infected, but the infection is just kind of sitting there dormant, right? It's not do it's not changing her into a runner. It's not, you know, she she doesn't transmit it to other people, things like that, right? So what I start is if what if Ellie's so-called immunity is really just a very delayed onset of the disease, right? What if she goes 20 years or so, right? What if she winds up Joel's age and um, uh, and then suddenly starts to notice that ever so slowly she is manifesting symptoms of a runner. Am I going to get this in time? Okay. All right. Now, is Dina going to get our friend here or not? Nope. Dina is going to mess it up. Dina, you suck. Um, so I would, you know, like, you know, like to me, because to me, that would like, that would create an in a really interesting dilemma for Ellie, right? Like, what is she going to do if she is becoming infected? What is she going to do? Um, for, you know, for her remaining time, right? Uh, and, um, Agreed. just making sure I got everything here. Okay. Uh, you know, would she, would she go to Cape Canaveral to appreciate the space program before she died? Suppose, suppose that she was starting, you know, like she finds somebody who could actually use her to develop a vaccine, but then realizes, no, this wouldn't actually cure anybody. It would just delay the symptoms or make them infected at a slower pace, right? Like, what would what would you do with a vaccine then, right? If it wasn't actually a vaccine, but a bargain, you can live for 20, 25 years unaffected and then you turn you a bad day. right would you would you take a vaccine no under those circumstances not how i'd want to go out interesting yeah I, I i've never like that's my own personal take on it but That is actually a really interesting idea, uh, T-Van. You would have, yeah, exactly. You would have those that don't want to take it, right? OK. 
okay. Right, because that makes the vaccine even more interesting, right? Now, of course, if it's a regular vaccine that actually works, then, of course, you just have the politics of who controls the vaccine and the distribution and all of that kind of stuff, right? But... would have loved this. I mean, would it wipe out all healthy humanity? Maybe. Or it could, but I mean, it's like, presumably some of those people who take the vaccine, if it doesn't pass on to your children, <gasps> right, they could have children while they are, um, you know, well, after they've taken the vaccine, right? And then those children, Valiant would they be, you know... Should we check for supplies? Man. Like, Imagine would they carry that same path. thing, that you same slow... Play some instruments. ...infection or not, right? If they didn't, then... You know... But anyway, people could still presumably... Even if they did, people could still presumably reproduce you know, in the period before they turned, right? It just mean you wouldn't have sick. as yeah. much of an old age. Logan's Run, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, we only listened to it like a hundred times together. Okay, I'm on, you know. Ration Distribution Center. In Boston, we'd line up for blocks. And the food sucked. I'd go crazy. Oh, there's my first, the first time I missed on, the map skip. Let's find a way in. First time today I missed the map skip, that is. Can you get through? All right, I got you. <laughs> that would be interesting, Tuffy. Firewatch. I have not, Jack. Um, I think we'll keep Jackson and probably something about the WLF. I don't think we'll see the Scars or the Rattlers again. That That's kind of what I was meditating on, Chaos. That bit about with the kids. I mean, presumably the kids would... I mean, like, if we're going to pay attention to what the way they seem to be developing the idea of the infection from the TV show, um, where which I actually thought was kind of a stupid conceit, but you know this idea that Ali's mother is bitten, like just as she's giving birth, and th this somehow explains why Ellie has the infection that it crossed the placental barrier, but she didn't. You know, she's immune, whatever, from it. I think it's a stupid idea. But regardless, if if they're assuming that, right, if this does cross the placental barrier, then there'd be every reason to think that the babies would have the, uh, the same thing growing inside of them as their mother does. Uh, 
Oh, no worries. Get it. There were still people around. They would have cleared this place out, right? Maybe they didn't make it to this. Uh -huh. uh, maybe. It's fine, I guess. Hey, Ellie. This place is. Yeah, but the problem is like the the thing is if you think about how the reason why I like before the show came out, you know, that was actually the the kind of thing that they talked about in the show was a popular fan theory. And the reason why I never liked it is that okay. if you understand how like babies don't have any natural immunity, right? They have immunity in the womb from the, and and from their mother and with okay. bottle feeding or with breastfeeding they you know they continue to get some protection from their mother even after birth while their immune systems are developing right so if the mom's immune system isn't going to fight it off there's no chance in hell that a baby's immune system is going to do it because the baby's immune system derives from its mothers right so i was always of the opinion all along that you know, this kind of explanation for it really has a feel of midichlorians, yeah, right? It, like exactly. that it's it's yeah. pseudoscience that's just kind of hand waving at an explanation that doesn't really make a lot of sense. And I would far rather, rather than them trying to give some pseudoscientific explanation, I would rather they just were like, Ellie has an immunity. Right, like doing? natural genetic variation can completely explain that sort of stuff. Like we don't need Ellie, the careful. you know the blow by it's blow okay. details of it's why okay. she's immune, and it's I think it's kind of better from a story perspective if we don't have a you know any kind of detailed attempt at explaining it. Into it. Yeah, I'm. Uh, that's Monday. exactly my what I was trying to say, Jack. It's better if we don't try to explain why. Okay, cross the dome off the list. Let's go find the coordinates. All right. It's peaceful out here. It's cool to theorize. I agree. It's weird being in a I, I got nothing wrong with the theories. Gunfire, you know, explosions. it's just the My fact that it's once we go easy. from the That's theories to the canonical she explanations, like I want the canonical explanation to be good, to right? right? That's rough. We always had a backpack so we could bail if something happened. Never stayed in one place for more than a few weeks. It sucked. Hey, Harry, how's it going? Neil prefers things only to explain as much as absolutely necessary. True, although he must have signed off on it because, you know, Druckmann has been heavily involved in producing the show as well but yeah 
<laughs> Neil Stuckman. It sounded from the interviews as if this was this idea of the pregnancy thing was like something he's been harboring for a while. Third one. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Alright, am I fully loaded on that? I am. <laughs> so you walking up a hill? <laughs> Lunging with the knife that way? Is that how you walk up a hill? Really knife the air on your walks. Don't we all? <laughs> How far am I aiming to go tonight? I'm not really sure, Harry. It's like, at the very least, to the end of day one. If I'm feeling energetic, I might go for Hillcrest. It, it really just depends on how I'm feeling when I get there. I am a little hungry. I had breakfast, but I didn't have lunch. So, we'll see. Hmm. Yeah, it's what what one does, is it not chaos? How's it going? Uh, this run's been pretty smooth so far. No particular problem. But on the other hand, I mean, we're just in day one, so... I don't start thinking about how good the run is until I get through Hillcrest, basically. Almost came a little too fast there.
Alright. Hey, a little help? Coming. You ever been to a courthouse before? <laughs> nope. You're telling me you never got in trouble back in Boston? Oh, I got in trouble. But never landed in a courthouse. <laughs> Want the parts, not the drawer. Oh. I I keep overshooting on that last number because I'm not paying attention. Okay. Not overshooting this time. Oh, shit. Oh wait, did I let me take let me take this first. Just in case I get slapped up. Alright. drop anything Jesus I think that's all of them Let's find that gas. Thank you for the GG's Gasoline. Our luck's changing. Don't you jinx us. <sighs> the fuck Vedrigate is calling to us. Now, how do we get out of here? Huh. Onward, Shimmer. How you doing back there? Getting homesick? A little bit. You? Uh, same. Just having a roof over my head. You know, I've always dreamed of fixing up a farm just outside of Jackson. Why wouldn't you stay in town? I don't know. I like the idea of real space. Sounds lonely. Only if you're doing it alone. Okay. So are we gonna, like... Raise sheep and milk cows. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> no, it actually sounds kind of nice. Really? Yeah. 
Really? One second. Sure. Hey, young man, how's it going? Just need to get the last of the loot from the bank and then we can get out of here. No, let me do this. Thank you. city. We barely started looking. Yeah, I know. Just thought we'd see one of them by now. These old generators are pretty finicky, so it might take you a few tries to... Oh. Sorry, go on. Nothing. It worked. Well, no welcoming to me. Or they're just waiting for us. Let's look for a way in. Keep an eye on those windows. See that? Oh. Infected just hopped out once. Oh, means we can get in that way. Watch it! Nice shooting, Dina.
Alright. Come on. We can get out this way. Maybe catch up with Tommy. Yeah. I know you said Tommy had a rough past, but... Fuck. I know. Are you okay? It wasn't pretty. I don't want you to think bad of Tommy. Ellie, if I had my sister's killers tied to a chair... Oh. You get the generator. I'll open the gate. You remember the code? The one written in blood? Yeah. Chat, time to say goodbye to Shimmer. I say we find shelter and we set up camp. Shimmer is a good horse. She doesn't deserve what's about to happen to her. I like that idea. Okay. Let's look for an open building. Preferably with no infection. <laughs> Nothing bad at all, T Ben. Nothing bad at all. Shine too hard. Yes. How many guys did you see? Enough. We gotta get the hell out of here. It was this way! Move up! Clear the rooms! There he is. Holy fuck! 
All right. That was smooth. You good? Yeah. You recognize any of these guys? No. Hey Tolo, thank you for the GGs. Yeah, on my way, Dina. Is Dina actually gonna get this kill or not? She that way she was going. Did you see how she went in the glass? Okay, she did get it. Sometimes if I kill that woman too early, Dina will abort the kill because the second kill is what triggers this third wave to come in and uh and and so if you if you kill this one too early and dina doesn't get a chance to sort of go into her uh kill run <laughs> before they come she will abort because there's no longer just one person left and her ai only wants to oh fuck you for doing that. Be nice if they would come over this direction. Okay, there's one. Okay. Oh, damn it. Is she going to turn away? He's turning. She's jumping up. This is remaster shit. She should come back down, though. There she is. All right. our friend. Not out there. Up oh, there he is.
There's a lot of them. I told you. In the ear, exactly, Bob. Gotta get that temple shot, right? I just probably shouldn't be doing this but at this point, but I was just reading the label on this bottle. It's an IPA of some sort. Talk to me. Go check. On it. Don't. Okay, Dina, please do your job. <laughs> Looks like she did. Thank you, Dina. I, I, sometimes in the remaster, she has failed to grab. That That's last woman, God. so I'm never entirely trusting of Dina anywhere here in day one, basically. Don't even, it's fair point. fair point. I was making the point, Tuffy, in uh, somebody else's stream or earlier today that, you know, I feel like just as the game, the story deliberately sets you up to hate Abby the first time you play through it, right? At least at the beginning of the game. It also sets you up to want, you know, so they're making you feel what Ellie is feeling, right? So it also sets you up to want to abandon so, Dina. Those are the wolves. They're really hey, wrong. Brit, thank you so much for the yeah, work. Do you think there were going to be this many of them? Tommy said this was a possibility. Does that change anything? For and you? yeah, you're more than no. welcome. It's always fun when I have a chance to hang out in your streams, Brit. Oh, 
yeah. Same. Many. I passed two, but I got a feeling there were more. Unless they realize we're out of the school. And that we killed their fucking friends. They'll be out in force looking for us. I can't believe they did this. These people are not like us. What if we've been refugees? What if we. I don't know. Where am I and everything? Okay, no point built making a molly because we got that one to come up with. Uh, also, no point doing anything until we get the next magazine. Something keeps bugging me. Why didn't they kill you and Tommy when they had the chance? I don't know. It seems reckless. Maybe they're dumb. Oh. Maybe. Oh, come on. Let's go. I'll be back in a sec. Fuck is this? Was it worth it? Yeah. What's the name of the girl in the night? The one in the TV station? Leah. <laughs> I can still kind of see the buildings. How you want to go? As usual, we have to wait a full cycle to minimize the chances of those two guys we heard talking spotting us when we grab the pipe lady here. Can I join your group? Now, nah, piss off. Are you sure? Oh, dead sure. I hate the Romans already. Right, you're in. Good luck, Polly. Polly say hi, Polly say love. Jess, thank you so much for six months, and thank you for the good luck as well. Very much appreciated. Hope you're doing well today. So far, it's been very smooth, but we only just got past school, so 
there's a lot of places like Capitol Hill can screw up in a big time on the remaster, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, let's hope it stays smooth. I just don't trust the remaster at all. <laughs> Especially, we're coming up to one building in particular where Dina has screwed me over multiple times. And even though I spent a long time kind of rerouting it, there's only so much I can protect myself against shitty RNG there. And so if I get it, I just have to cope and it's... You know, the the problem is it can wind up with a, like a loud fight against all the WLF, which I don't really want to do because I want to keep my ammo. Yeah, Dina, there's a kill in the flower shop that I need Dina to do for me. Um, if she doesn't, I can sometimes get the kill, but I can also get spotted by somebody else with it. And so it's like, if she doesn't get the kill, it's annoying. Okay, they both go into the left here. At least Dina got that kill. Yeah, so I'll, what, if you're still here when I get there, I will show you, I will talk through what I have found at least minimize, maximizes the chance that she will get the kill, but it's still very RNG dependent, right? But basically you want to grab the first woman super fast and try to pull her behind a counter to like, give Dina a little extra time to start in, in on Some her um, her kill. Even then, she sometimes aborts. Man, this QZ is huge, right? It's pretty massive. You think the wolves are spread out all over it? I sure hope not. Now this is another area where Dina Dina has yet to alert me in here, but she moves in such a funky way that I'm afraid it's going to happen one of these days. So it's like like how she moves in all of Capitol Hill is just. Oh, frankly, all of the characters, like, they're just so messed up in their movements and the remaster. I'll 
put a word in for you. Appreciate it. Let me give you some advice, though. Shoot. Get the information and be done. Do you not get the fuck out of the way? See that? You see how she's just sort of standing there? It scares the fuck out of me. Oh shit! What am I doing? Queen, I you know agree. Like it's definitely the sort of thing that you're not gonna notice on a casual playthrough. It's it's like it's those of us who are doing these kind of you know grounded perma challenges that we're gonna see. But but still. I mean, they could have decided, you know, like for all I know, they knew about this kind of stuff about like alerting them more frequently. And they're like, you know, it's actually good to have it happen more often, <laughs> you know, instead of being the rare thing that we saw in the OG game, maybe they're like, we, we actually want them to fuck up and get spotted more often. So who knows? Good for players to be frustrated. <laughs> yeah. Well, they have succeeded. Shut it. Please tell me he didn't see that. Good, he did. God damn it. He was early. It scared the shit out of me. The guy outside, he could so easily have seen that. Yeah, that's true. I just wish if they're going to make him alert more, that's fine. But what they should do is it should be the result of um, them just like increase the vision of the enemies of the NPCs, but don't make their movement as just ferociously janky and like you know, they're just kind of running around in these very implausible ways. Like, like if it were realistic getting caught, I would, I wouldn't complain, right? Then it would be something that I would just be like, okay, we've got to learn how to deal with this, right? But when it's because they're just moving in these like chicken with their head cut off, ways that are very clearly just like bad ai oh shit what am i doing okay thank god i have two hits on that i should have grabbed him i didn't swap out the uh oh well See you normally i swap out the other melee Jesus. weapon here for that so i don't accidentally break this pipe but how many guys did they send looking for we're okay too many
Get out of my way, Dina. All right. All right. These Pretty sure we have not taken any damage. Nope. There can't be that many trespassers that come through here. I don't know. Wait. The city still looks like it's filled with supplies. I can't see why people would need to fight over it. All right, we're going to wait to get this. I always like to What's get this little dialogue so that we can have the book see what you can find around here. at the end of day three. A no damage. Really? Eventually, okay. yes. My, um... Come on. My Stay plans close. are for this game, well, finish this challenge, then finally get around to doing Grounded Permadeath for Part 1, <laughs> which I haven't done yet, and um, then go back and do no damage for this game. So who knows how long that will take me to get to it. Yeah, exactly, Jack. I'm thinking it won't take nearly as long to get my perma completion for part one. I mean, I played it through the, I played through the remake ungrounded. I, and I started to route out permadeath, but that was a while ago. Um, and I just, that was actually before they patched a lot of the bugs that were originally or with the first version of the game. Yeah. Hey, J wind. It's going pretty well. How you doing? Traitors. At least with scars, you know what you're getting. Can't complain. Nice. I don't give a fuck. Come on, guys. I don't care about your conversation. I just want you to climb up. still be dying through your grand run but never giving up that's the right spirit queen How are we gonna get Leo alone? it's a tough game so don't give up just at need it a minute to talk with her are you gonna make her talk do i have to
Now, unfortunately, one of the things about the remaster here is that Dina has stopped wanting to kill this runner normally. Maybe she'll do it now? Where'd she go? Lazy Dina. Absolutely something else. All right. Um, it's the next room where Dina has issues. So we're just going to have to pray for decent RNG. So the good RNG is when this woman... See how she's facing away from us as she's walking past? The good RNG is the next time that she walks past from right to left she's also facing away from us. If she's looking towards us, we have to wait a bit, and that delay will fuck everything up. Without the delay, it could still fuck up, but Dina's more likely to get the kill. Because we're going to go... If we don't get... If she is away from us, we're just going to grab her as soon as we possibly can. facing away now we're gonna pull her back here so that even if Dina doesn't get the kill she got the kill good so that maximizes the chance that Dina will get the kill now didn't used to be necessary we could grab her later before Yeah, so even if if you get the bad RNG, if you have to wait, so still pull that woman behind the counter before you kill her, because even if Dina fails on the kill, you can, if you're fast enough, follow you're gonna have to follow the woman to the other side of the room and kill her, but you have to kill her kind of behind the pillar so that you're sheltered from the um sniper because the sniper if you're out in the middle of the room the sniper will go check the fucking traps what the fuck are you doing dina did you see her going over that way jesus christ if she alerts them so help me fucking god How did she wind up? She must have looped around to the left. How did she wind up to my left? That's fucking weird. Dina. You're giving me a heart attack here. Yeah, she's made... She got a kill. Now it's like, okay. I did, I did my job once. Now I'm going to fuck you over.
Christina almost ran into the throwing brick again. Check it out. All right. Well, again, hopefully dinner will stay out of our way until he can alert. have to wait for them to come upstairs. Oh, he's coming fast. I would really appreciate it, Dina, if you... Oh, shit, there's two of them. How the fuck... That's... Did you see how he ran past like that? What the fuck is that? You good? More remaster hey, shit. Again, that just has never happened to me. Um, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like, both of them charging up here. So much for no damage day one. I mean, it's annoying more than anything else, yeah, but that again that's one of those things where now i have to consider another possibility right like if i had realized that now we can have that guy sprinting past me to the point where he can hear me i wouldn't have mollied the guy that i did i would have waited for them to come past and then thrown the molly at the one who had a clear shot on me right 
Hey, yo, pacify. Welcome on in, Raiders. Thank you for the follows there, Pacify and uh, Stony Fox. Welcome on in, everybody. Good to see y'all. Um, but by the way, so Pacify is routing out uh, his own grounded playthrough here and his goal is no damage for this game he's already done that for part one so if you haven't followed him already highly Hello, suggest footage. that you do Hello, i was footage. thank you for all those follows thank you thank you good to see everybody how was did, did you get through day one and if so how many deaths or even if you didn't get through day one Hello, how many deaths footage. Did you stop with Hannah? Thank you so much for that follow. Only day one, two deaths total. Nice. Nice. Uh, runs going mostly well. We actually just had what I call remaster jank. Uh, you know, something like my strat, like they did something totally unexpected that they never do. Fall death on a ladder, yeah, those fall deaths suck. Um, yeah, so basically, I had somebody run. I, I had them kind of run at me. I have, you know, normally they will sort of come up and one at a time come through, and I can just pick them off. But I had two guys sort of run at me, and one ran past cover, which shocked the hell out of me because I'd never seen that happen before. So, yeah, if it's a twitch.clip, Jess, you should be able to do it without a permit. If it doesn't say twitch.clips, then Tuffy or Queen can give you a permit. It, nice. This is, uh, this is a fun challenge. It's, uh... Uh, Jay Wynn, thank you so much for that. Give sub to Pacify. Thank you, thank you. All right. So fortunately, that was New Jack. So I, you know, here in Capitol Hill, Capitol Hill has been a site of a lot of, like if you're used to strats on the OG game, has definitely been a site of a lot of strangeness. And I, I got through the strangeness that I had already experienced because I had sort of planned out... Wait, did I already get those blades? Um, I did not. But um, we got new strangeness <laughs> with these guys here. So I think, in fact, I think... I think I'm going to heal at this point. I don't need to, but the thing about the other thing about kill all is you get so much extra resources. Yeah, no dogs. Yeah, exactly. So we have to kill every all the enemies in the game except the dogs. We have to leave them alive. Yeah. It's um it's not very hard to avoid killing the dogs. It is much more challenging to kill all the humans hey, while leaving building. the dogs alive. It looks like the TV station from your map. Yeah. Come on. He's all the way in SB. 
I don't know how I would have done all this without. Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Her oh yeah, I mean Hillcrest. Explosive Hillcrest trapped. kill all isn't easy no matter You're what, walking. but it's definitely easier if you can kill the dogs. Oh, Dina. Actually, this is the one place where Dina shoots accurately ungrounded. Okay. All right. Where are you going? Hey, hold on a second. Any wolves? I didn't see any, but it's hard to tell. She gets a double kill. Yeah, and in the remaster, there's another weird thing. Hey, I totally understand, Pacify. Thank you again for the raid. Yeah, go take care of yourself. Also, anybody else who came in with the raid and is needing self-care after a long stream, I totally understand. Um, yeah, so... The other thing, the double kill outside the hotel, she's been getting it a lot for me um, as well. But also here, there's another really weird thing here about the remaster. And that is, I've had it happen more than once that the first runner will blow up and then the body will fly up in an arc and hit the second trap wire and blow that up, which... Um, I can't recall ever seeing happen in the original game, and I've had it happen twice on the remake, the remaster. Fuck. I'm okay. I'm All right, we'll sit here and watch Dina so we get my favorite incidental line in the game. Oh, my ass hurts. <laughs> Is Leah chick? What if she's gone by the time we get there? I don't want to After I've that. been uh, playing this game for eight hours, sitting in this chair, I s totally sympathize with Dina. We should put some of those trick wires up around Jackson. Might be a good way to deal with the boards. Hey. Hmm. Holy shit! These were all shot. This city gets so wrecked. Boston wasn't like this, was it? Boston didn't have a full-blown civil war. Fireflies never put up this. The bigot sandwiches, yeah. I mean, not only is it a funny line, but it's really excellent foreshadowing. Came this way. Of uh tripwire. I still haven't got this is one thing I haven't ever gotten yet on They're all over. The remaster is that Still. triggering the trap mine going squeezing through there yeah let's be careful <laughs> Are you wearing my backpack? Yeah, although that one is uh, both the bigot sandwiches. I mean, there's a lot of great lines in this game. I did I did say incidental, by which I meant the kind of thing that, you know, you it, it's skippable. It's not part of the main like scene dialogue or anything like that. Right. They've really got this area covered. Probably don't cut through here much with all this. That really? How the fuck did that miss? Um, game? The fuck are you doing? Smart. That works. Yeah. 
Oh wait, I need another one. If I'm gonna go that way. TV station. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, Jack, I'm sure you're exactly right on that. We're not being subtle right now. Maybe Leah will come to us. Yeah. Or they might be waiting to end us. It's all good. Oh wait. Oh no, I already took prone diving, didn't I? Okay. Be careful. I didn't mean prone take prone diving, I meant take faster prone. She's dead. How do you feel? Keep your eyes open! I have no idea why it took me so long to realize that that guy who sometimes takes forever to come in, all we need to do is break that glass. I, I spent so much time just sort of like standing there waiting for him to come in until I finally realized, shit, just break the glass, dude. And he's still standing? I don't All think right. so. I am going to use the bullet trick here. I hear more. This way. Oh, 
All right, no damage there. But yeah, that's what you get for a somewhat mellow playlist going on during this game, right? Masks. Okay. Damn it! I missed the skip. We gotta keep moving. Okay, I do have a break. There's a way through. They thought they had us. I know. the clicker is going to do today. Well, that's at least two WLF down. three now watch they'll lose the fourth one because I saw the fourth one over in the back there there he is all right I mean if he's gonna out himself to kill all before any of them kill each other I mean there is a way to stealth this, um, Rambo would be probably, I mean, I'm sure it can be done, but, like, you can stealth kill the whole group, but it's pretty difficult. Like, it's a very, I just decided it wasn't worth, like, even though I normally like stealth kill all strats, um, it requires some very precise movement. All right. And it's just, I just can't be bothered. It's much easier to let them do each other in and then deal with the whoever's left. All right. We're just going to wait a cycle to see how these clickers on the left decide to move, because they definitely move around a lot of different places. Yeah, I have no idea, Queen. I mean, I do know, like, in the past, I we have seen certain Naughty Dog developers in various people's streams like ant has one or two devs that are regulars there and i've seen him occasionally in other yeah i knew you i knew what you meant um 
you know, we've seen him occasionally in other people's streams as well. So they they do watch some um, Tlu gameplay, but obviously there's a lot more of it going on than I think they can. All right. This might be a bad mistake. You see that one right there? Can I get out of the way? Alright. Got out of the way. He's there. Where's the second one? Over there. All right. The flares absolutely, I mean, I'm sure very deliberately, make it a lot harder to see in certain places. Like, you can't, it's tough to spot exactly where they're doing. Are these assholes gonna push me again here? This is another remaster thing where they. Nope. I'm going to get caught, but I'm too far in. the last fucking clicker oh i guess he didn't alert all right well that works out back and get my pipe. Grab it you can. And then let's move. NPC that was stuck somewhere that I forgot to kill. Yeah, I mean if it's Fortunately if it like if they're random extra spawns like some kind of infinite spawn then I don't actually have to kill them um, If uh, Fortunately, I mostly know I mean I do know exactly how many people are in each area so like if, if something messes up if I mess up I'm going to know right away. But also, how you doing, Gwen? Good to see you. Shit. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate it. Babe. I'm really tired. Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah. Maybe through here? Did you hear what they kept calling us? Scars. I love how that's who made all those murals. I appreciate the lurkers as well as the chatters. 
I often do that. I lurk in a lot of people's streams. Uh, Steezy, thank you so much for that follow. What's the plan? Got another ladder across there. How you doing, Steezy? Hope you're having a great, great weekend. Thank you. All right, amplifier is reset. Yes, this is Kai behind me. He is a cute, he's a good boy. My good, he's a, he's, 12 years old and showing his age, but he's still my puppy and always will be. Yeah, that's because I reset when you told me, as soon as you told me, I reset the amplifier. It's it, it's issue with the amplifier. I've tried to fix it. And I think really the only way I'm truly going to fix it is to buy a new amp, but it's not a cheap thing <laughs> for this kind of microphone. So. Oh shit, it dropped me in the wrong way. Oh, fuck these assholes. Did they get you? No, I'm clean. That pause messed up my, uh, yeah. messed me up a little bit. Where the hell do shamblers come from? Is Dina seriously not going to do her fucking job? Dina, you absolute potato. I don't think I've ever had Dina not... I wonder if that was because of the, of the my delay there. But I don't think I've ever had Dina not kill that um, second runner. Especially not recently. Like, maybe when I was still learning this strat occasionally, but... Oh, that's weird. Anyway, surprise, motherfucker. Fuck, watch out. Hey, Mike, how you doing? That that thing, Queen, is actually a bug. Um, that dialogue that is played is supposed to be played after you go through the, after you kill everybody here however if you have the faster prone upgrade it triggers early right and that's a bug from the original game that they did not bother to fix in uh, the remake remaster Waiting at the airport. Well, I hope you have a safe flight back, Mike. 
And also, hope you've enjoyed your time in Australia. That heads up is another Looks little bug uh, in, the, in the sound Good. design because what happens there is it takes the game a while Shoulders. to record that you've killed enough. everybody. So if you kill the last one and then immediately go yeah. to the door Looks like that, if you start opening it when before it's marked you as being out of the encounter, you get Dina yelling, heads up, watch out. For all those people you killed. Been really fun meeting all those people. Yeah, that is very cool. Shit. Needs a combination. Everything three three. Have I taken any damage at any point? No. Um, at least not since I have healed. Okay. All right. Tunnels three. Now, Dina has been a bit annoying right here, too. She's... There's been a couple times where she's pushed me out of position for this. She should move now. See how she's pushing me out of position there? If she pushes you out, he can see you before you get a chance to grab him. Hopefully in a couple of years. Yeah, it'd be cool. I'd like, I've never been to Australia. I'd like to go. That would be fun. Just wait for him to stop running around.
One of the best places you've been to. Wow. High praise indeed. All right. Now we just have to get through tunnels for. Okay. I'm ready to get out of here. Same. Let's hope we don't get any glitches here in tunnels for strat I'm doing is in my judgment the least likely to glitch, but there's still like a five percent chance of it Jesus. fucking up. I wonder how long they kept these running past outbreak day. Airport transit brings down the score. <laughs> Fair. Thank you. You were in Perth too, weren't you, Mike? <laughs> How does a city of that size oh, not have a train here. to the airport? Yeah. I mean, yeah. L.A. didn't have a uh, train to the airport for ages. Okay, please, no glitches. Give me the normal. Thought it was just a rain cloud. <laughs> just a very brown rain. All right, no glitches. Let's fucking go! Go! Get the fuck! Run, Dina! Ellie! Right here, don't slow down! There we go. Less vibrant. Yeah. Dina. Hey, day one done. What did you say we rest in that theater? <sighs> That sounds so fucking good. Almost there. The remaster did throw some weird shit at us, but we made it. I got you. Fortunately, it wasn't anything too terrible.
would you keep something like that? soldier than an electrician. What's this? Joel, you'd love watching a movie in this place. Hey yo, T Top. How are you doing this weekend? Hope you've been well. I'm doing pretty well. You're doing great? Nice. Love to hear it. I'm gonna start guessing. Do you want to spoil your surprise now? I don't know. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. <sighs> All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Is it a Um, I I have the timer on just so that I can see how I'm doing roughly. Obviously. We're not setting any speed runs, <laughs> speed run records with uh, this Oops. challenge. This women's getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You got the water with your whole arm. Blah blah blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Haley, come here. Take a look at this. See it, Dero? See it? Just through there. Look. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Looks like. How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. 
Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. Ugh. You gotta leave a dive under here. Take, take a deep breath. Come on, Joel. It'll take too long. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Oh, good. But, like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? Yeah. Yes. That's a, which one? Just, yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. What's this? Uh, it's a book. Left-handed crochet. <laughs> you're gonna die. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming you are right-handed chaos. A lot of right-handers can't do much with their left hand, at least. So I I get get that. Yeah, so I'm left-handed, actually, and what I find is, even though I do prefer my left hand for certain things, there's others where I actually kind of yeah, always use the right hand, just, yeah. you know, I'm not really had an issue with it. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. Did you know this was here? In fact, back when I used to fence in college, our team oh, would do these um, evening kind of fun practices. So cool. Your grandma's birthday is today. You're trying to speed run the last few rows of a blanket for her. Your arm is dying. Well, uh, good luck finishing it. I hope, I hope it goes okay. So. On my fencing team, we'd do these evening practices, maybe once a month, which were just kind of fun practices, and we'd be kind of silly. And one of the things that we would do is have everybody switch hands, so you had to fight on the weapon hand that you, you know, your non-dominant hand, right? And I was like the number three guy on my squad, you know, like a varsity team has like three people on it. Uh, and I was number three. The number one guy on our squad was actually on the Canadian Olympic team. And on a normal day, he could beat me like five matches to one that I would get, right? But when we switched, he was a right-hander. When we switched and I was fencing right hand and he was fencing left, it was totally reversed. Like I just would clean his clock because he just couldn't use his left hand to save to save his life whereas i could do okay with my right um i'm actually going to play this so i'm going to go grab a quick bite to eat while this plays what enjoy the, the cutscene oh. <laughs> okay wow 
Would you look at all these buttons? Oh, it's so badass. <laughs> Man. Could you imagine just... <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> You're welcome, kiddo. <laughs> well, what do you say we uh, keep looking around, huh? I should have put this in four. This song? Is that what you mean by that? If I get murdered in the city, don't go revenging me or whatever he says. Or it is thematically appropriate. It kept four, it kept auto-correcting to butt. That's weird. Oh, the astronaut scene. I see. There's more museum stuff over there. Oh, God. Never give anyone else this much grief. Get down here! No! Hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. I want a good splash! We've got more exploring I'm to do. sure they will find ways to put in very poignant scenes in, uh, <laughs> in three. Yes.
Hey, who's being there? Poor bit, poor butt. I'll open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. Poor butt audio would hey, actually be news. interesting. Shit blocking the door. Thank you for the lurkness. Oh, lurkness monster. Or am I? See, look at that. Even though I used all those extra mollies and health kits there, these were full on all, everything again. Yep, we are at Hillcrest. Thank you, Ness. Appreciate the good luck. Is this the right place? Definitely the right place. It's gotta be Tommy. Shit. Thank you, Harry. Phillips, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, I probably better turn off the music at this point since I do, I should. I was about to say, I do need to focus. Maybe I don't, but I should try to focus here. I mean, normally this first dog area goes smoothly, but we have, as in so many places with the remaster, had some weird ass RNG occasionally, so gotta be ready for that. Ugh, gross. All right, we got our upgraded silencer. That's right. Okay, are we ready? So. Okay, so I actually did a bunch of testing on that, and Dippy, if you, I, I was answering somebody in my YouTube comments about it, and I kind of wrote it out, but basically, um, here's what you want to do: you want to like listen to the listen to the dialogue between uh, of the handler and the other woman when they lose when the dog loses your scent because what's happening there is the dog is or the dog loses your scent in the shop opposite the bank right so he follows you across and he loses your scent there they have the dialogue and then they resume their patrol route which means they're going to walk from if you're at the door from your right to your left if you're facing away from the door and um from the time I was timing this out, from the time that that dialogue finishes, you have about 15 seconds for the guy. The guy will walk all the way across and then he will turn and he will look towards the door. And if you're still at the door, the awareness indicator will start to get bigger and it will probably alert eventually. Although sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes he doesn't see you and he'll it'll 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 fill part way and it, he won't alert. Now here's the kicker. Um every once in a while the dog as they're crossing around will turn when they're about halfway across and if the dog turns the dog will see you at the door. So if you're hearing a bark and then the guy alerting that's what has happened for that. Now, I was trying to time that, and the fastest that I saw that happen was 12 seconds from the end of that dialogue. Um, and the door itself takes 10 seconds for you to get through from the time you first hit the very first triangle to the time you get into the animation. So if you are far away from the door when that dialogue finishes you're in trouble right so what you can do there is once he says before they finish the dialogue once he says oh um got nothing instead of crawling forward for the the dog um turn back around and throw a brick behind you like once you go out of the the building that's closest to the door throw the brick like straight back behind you towards where the dog is and that will should give you a little bit of extra time for them to follow you want to play play around with that so you really understand how people are moving but if you don't delay the the upshot of that is if you're in p correct position and don't delay at all getting to the door you should have time getting to the door. If you're getting spotted, you're probably a second or two late and you're getting the worst RNG where the dog is turning early. Like as far as I can tell, that's what's going on there. So, all right. You're more than welcome. 
I got some shit. Get in there. Okay, girl. You think this guy's connected to the girl from the school? You hear that? On me. Come on. Go. I'll watch your back. Okay, good. We got the early. We got the early no alert, which is not bad. In terms of remaster glitches, late losing the alert seems to be more likely to have shit go wrong, but I don't actually know why this weird shit happens. So. All right, she's coming really early. All right, the fact that she came out the door, that's, if she doesn't come out the door, that's actually the, the glitch that I've experienced here. But since she did, we're all good. See what it was. Just checking to make sure they're not here. Every once in a while, they're not doing the double speed glitch, which puts them in the bank there and gets me spotted. Yep, there they are with the double speed. Zoomies.
Exactly, Jack. These are the tense areas. Uh, since the collapse, thank you so much for that follow. Fuck. Anybody hear that? All right, we got two of those. Yeah, let's make let's make that. Don't need any of that. So at this point, I usually like to take, I usually like to upgrade the pistol capacity, which is normally kind of a useless upgrade, but for me, it actually makes sense because if things go wrong in Hillcrest houses, it will give me four extra bullets after we get past it, after we get past finding strings. So it's worth it.
All right, now that the fire is out, we can take care of him. Tattoo shop. Nope. Not where I wanted to go. I mean, you play the game enough and it just kind of, you just kind of learn them. Yeah, Chaos is right. You can also pick them by sound if you want. I have all my vibration on remastered turned way down because I hate like the adaptive triggers and stuff. All right, so Yeah, to each their own. That's fair. But I, I don't mind the vibrations too much, although I do like to turn them down. It's, it's the resistance when I'm aiming and shooting that I find irritating. All right. Wait for number two to de-aggro. I haven't played Spider-Man 2, so I didn't know any of these things. Oh. 
I mean, that's not all that surprising, right? You know, you don't really expect superhero movies or games to be deep stories, just entertaining stories, right? Shamblers are nasty looking, especially their backsides. Like. Was the wrong combination. So are you thinking T top of uh, there's at least one there's a couple of combinations where it will accept different permutations of the numbers um this might depending on which safe you're talking about that might not be a bug it might be the fact that you can enter so like in um so for example the one i'm thinking of in particular the safe that is right next door to that deserter workbench room at the second half of day two that is a date safe right as a date puzzle safe october 8th 1983 and you can enter it in basically any of three orders right because they're they're not trying to be region specific so you can enter it in american order you can enter 10 8 83 you can enter it in the rest of the world's order of 8 10 83 or you can enter it year, month, day, right? 83, 10, 8. So, and of course, if you double on those, if you do like 8, if you do like 10, 10 or something like that, then you're going to mess it up, right? So that's probably, that's probably the reason for that one. Oh, there's one. Which way is he going? Walking this way, the other, the third one's probably gonna see me, but that's okay. Oh, third one's all the way over there. Blades, huh? See which way it goes. <laughs> Boris seemed like such an important character just to die. I mean, this, you know, Tilu has a history of having this kind of environmental storytelling.
This'll do. I mean, at least we know Boris's backstory, right? Unlike all the other infected who are just infected, like this one, we actually have a backstory for him. All right, I do not use the bow glitch. All right. I am a little bit tired and hungry and uh, have a little bit of a headache but i'm gonna do houses anyway we're just gonna go for it um if there were no other way to get through an area like if i if i had some extra challenge where i needed the extra arrows and couldn't craft them then sure i would but i don't need the um extra arrows like i i can do everything i need to do just fine without it so i don't take it all right wish me luck chat this is the hardest encounter hey dogs picked up something down the hill i think he's down there no way He's still up here. He just blew up one of our fucking trucks. You sure? Yes, I'm fucking sure. Everybody spread out. We may have multiples. Yeah, Chaos, that's exactly how you do it. Just don't draw it all the way back. And you can just keep... She'll just keep pulling arrows out of her quiver. Or out of her backpack. Well, Chaos, there's always the game Stray, and you get your chance. 
Uh, she sometimes does that. That woe or whatever. Yeah, it, not always, but sometimes. And yes, it scares me too a bit. It's a very fun game, Stray. I really liked it. for that woman to clear this room so we can jump out. Goose cow, hello, hello. If I'm missing any of the chat, forgive me. Uh, this area requires a fair bit of concentration, even if I do have moments where I'm just crawling or something. Well, I especially want anybody who's new to the stream to, you know, who might not understand just how, like, precise I have to be in this encounter. To think, I don't want them to think I'm being an asshole and ignoring them.
All right. Just looking for the dog. Second dog there, just in case he's wandering far out. He wasn't. stuck or not nope not stuck Looks like we're on the normal rotation here, so we'll have to wait one cycle before I can leave the scent trail. Was that? Go. There. Thank you, Jack. All right, we're getting there. Still got a few tricky, tricky ones to go. One extra tricky one because of the remaster, but. Thank you. 
All right, it is body moving time. taken care of okay so i have a brick have my arrows or brick and bottle whatever same difference okay gotta hide those bodies right All right, this is not a good cycle for me to go, so we'll have to wait a bit. This one might work.
Now this is the next place where I have to be careful. I have to watch the guy in the gazebo now. Okay, he should be turned away by the time she gets there, so I think we're safe to do this. That is something new that I have to pay attention to on the remaster. All right. Um, the gazebo guy is like, he absolutely can, he's got like really good eyesight and he can see you. I'm not sure I'd call him the linchpin. There's no one person in here that like after you kill them, it stops the extra spawns. It's simply a matter of like, you know, if you kill all the human beings, you can alert the dogs and you won't spawn in the extra three. But other than that, it's um, it's just, you know, if, if they alert, if even the last one alerts on you, those three will spawn in. If that's what you meant by the linchpin. All right. Come on, come on. Oh, I don't like it when they come in from that side. Damn. <laughs> Ellie, get your sprint back, goddammit. Oh, 
How the fuck did I get tagged there? God damn it. Uh, like, how can she shoot coming down the fucking stairs like that? That's such bullshit. Yeah, I might as well heal just in case anything goes terribly wrong. We got another full health kit coming up. Wait, did I already get... No, I didn't get a brick. Um, fog clear up so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. All right. Thank you for the GGs. Yeah, what names are we picking? Charlotte. I always like Charlotte. I think we get Alex all that often. Go on, Jesse. Alright, next area, everybody outside of the truck is out of bounds. So I will try to kill him, but it doesn't okay. fail to run if I leave some of them alive. I mean, if you wanted to do a kill all max, you would, you would set that as an extra stipulation. I've talked at length about why I set the rules the way I do in terms of the out of bounds because it just it seems to make the most sense to me. Like, if you don't do that, you have to adopt some really elaborate justification about like what which out of bounds ones you do and don't kill. And I just, I just can't be bothered with that. So it's just no out of bounds. That's the easiest way to do it. Oh, 
Yeah, kill all these infected. Shit. Can I just join your group? Nah, piss off. Are you sure? Oh, dead sure. I hate the Romans already. Right, you're in. Polysic. Hey, uh, thank you so much for 11 months and for using your prime with me. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're having a fabulous weekend. Damn, that was a new record for Hillcrest. <laughs> Under an hour for Hillcrest. For John Wick, that's actually pretty good. I mean, the first part of Houses alone takes like 30 minutes normally all right it is time for me to end the stream i'm very hungry we got it past Hillcrest, which is always like we got a good run going here so i'm happy about that <laughs>